Hello and welcome to another video. I am Bregar and today I uh, am gonna make a little bit of a tutorial or I, I don't know. I'm gonna show how to make some uh, terrain wood world edit and my commands and my methods and stuff. I know there are better ways of doing it out there uh, like tutorials and all that that you can watch. This is just the way I do it and I hope it just can maybe help you because uh, there's been a lot of people asking me how I do for example the terrain and stuff like I do in um, for my sets or for my dinosaur series, uh, the streams I've been doing. So instead of like trying to show them certain points in the videos, I am just gonna show you guys in one simple video. So as you can see, I have a few um, tools on the ready here. First of all, we're gonna do, we're gonna, since this is a flat world, and if you're working on a flat world for your sets or whatever, we're gonna raise this to so set position one, would you will it, by the way? If you want to want, just do that, slash slash want, and you get one. And then you fly up. And then you have like an invisible square, in a way. Yeah, you start at one over there, then you fly up, set position 2 with a right click. Then you can do, for example, like set 1. You get a big uh, stone uh, thing. Now, now we have a platform to work on here. And we're gonna make like a mountain on this one. So first thing you wanna do... Slash brush. By the way, if this is on single player, you can only do one slash. If, if it's on multiplayer, two slashes. But I'm on single player, so we're gonna do brush there. Um, 12, 5. So 12, that is the idea of the block, which in this case is sand, and 5 is the size. Now, I prefer to. If I don't do anything now, uh, let me just show you. And I, I created this, and I dig that. And you can see how this is sand too now. Let me and let me take that on. And another useful command, I prefer to do this no matter what. Just do slash mask zero, which is air, on the same tool. And see now, if I dig into this one, you can see it's just stone there because it doesn't replace any blocks. Unless you, unless you mask it, it's going to be like this. Anyways, so let's undo those two, and that's how you get rid of that. Now we're gonna create the basic um, form of the mountain. Doesn't have to be huge or anything like that. You get the idea from like a little hill too. So now we have uh, a little hill. Next one uh, you would want to do is slash brush smooth. Uh, let's do three. It's not that big, just for the corners, because you want to blend it in with the, the mountains you had with the terrain that you have underneath. But uh, you see, if you do it like further up like this, you can. You can work, but doesn't always look that good. Just focus on the bottom to make it look smoother alongside that. Here, it kind of looks weird here right now, so you want to add more to that. Also, another, you can see, when you do the corners like this, it become like very flat in some in some um, situations. Want to avoid those, but you might want to like flatten the top a bit, like that. Now that, this is a okay rock, you could say a little uh, little steep uh, hill. Now what we want to do is. Uh, we might actually want to just set the stone material already. So we set position uh, position one. We fly up to to make a square around. Make sure you're above the sand. Slash up one. Right click. Now uh, to you could just simply do slash slash replace sand or like let's stick with code here like twelve one. That is stone. And you get that. If you want to make it a little bit more interesting, you can add that. And uh, let's add cobblestone, for example, which is four. We can add um, gravel and some hardened clay to 159.9, which is cyan hardened clay. You see how that looks? See how that looks a little bit more interesting? If you want a little bit more detailed in your like actual rock. See, for this one, we'll, uh, for the iron pickaxe, we'll do the overlay. Uh, which is we're gonna do grass, right? 
grass and maybe some dirt. So brush there. We're gonna add first of all grass, which which is two, some dirt, and then we want to mix in some stone there to to blend it in with the stone we have. And let's do mask of five. Why not? And then uh, oh, a size of five. And then we'll mask. We're gonna have to mask a few of them, I think. Yeah, so we can get a, a little bit blended in here. Maybe a little bit where there's a little bit more surface. If it's too steep, I wouldn't add any dirt there. Okay, and uh, that was um, masking uh, one. Let's mask four. Then mask uh, 13, which is gravel. Mask one again. And uh, 159. You don't have to add the extra nine for that one because it counts all of the hardened clays together. There we go. Now we got a, a hill. Now, of course, you're going to have all the sand and stuff like that, but there are ways of removing that or it will disappear over time. But keep in mind, it will create some lag too for you with entities and stuff. If you're on a server, clear lag will take care of that though. You can use uh, stone too, of course, but it's just a little bit more annoying. If you have Voxel Sniper, use stone instead of sand. But that's a, a Voxel Sniper is only for servers. Because like if, um, let me show you something. Let's add another one, which is gonna remove. For if, for example, if you need to remove a bit of the rocks, uh, brush. So there's zero. And let's do a small size of three. We don't have to mask it since we're gonna be removing. See, now we got like a little uh, indent here. Now you see this right here is not natural. You got a square, a little bit too square here, which doesn't look natural or nice for our terrain. With the Voxel Sniper, just a brush or a melt. Yeah, if you use the melt tool in um, Voxel Sniper, this would be fine. But if you try to use the smooth tool underneath here, see, see it just messes it up. This is this is not nice terrain. Uh, so that's what Voxel Sniper would be a lot nicer for. You would have to kind of manually. Uh, oh shit! You have to kind of manually come and fix this. There might be a technique out there that is better for this kind of stuff, but I don't know it. So if you if you happen to know any good tactics for this. Uh, that would help me a lot. Okay, now to show you on the server side of why you can do it. And um, we're currently on the TSC uh, build server where we're building the whole world of uh, the Shattered Crown. And um, it, so excuse the texture pack and all that. But I, I'm sure you guys can understand and follow along. Here I can show you how you can mix it in with uh, some um, Voxel Sniper. So I have my tools here. We have the... Um, let me just mask that real quick. Mask zero. We got our sand. And we got our uh, removal. Uh, you can see it hanging on it too. That's a server thing too, right? Away. That would normally fall. But we got also our smoothing tool. So let me just undo that real quick. Okay, so let's make um, a mountain over here. Here, you don't really need this on single player or anything like that, but it's convenient. So if you have a brush, uh, uh, a voxel sniper, then you do B, E, melt, B, size, you can go up to pretty crazy, but let's do 10. So the um, arrow removes while the gunpowder adds, like this. If I right click with this, it adds to it. You don't have to do much of the smooth tool. It adds a lot more nice and smoother terrain. You can get some nicer mountains. And you can remove. And like, uh, see here when I remove this. You know, remember how I said about the smooth tool being terrible for caves? Yeah, like that. Terrible. Yuck. Let's get rid of that. Let's add, do that with the uh, Voxel Sniper now. You see how it doesn't like drag it down, it actually like makes it smooth. Yeah, that's beautiful. 
Let's fix that up. And also, uh, one thing it's better for two. Um, I might have messed up a little bit there. But let's uh, set position one, fly up, and position uh, two. Let's uh, replace 12 with one. Now let's do B overlay V2 B10, sure. And just boop. And that's how you overlay a grass on a wood box sniper. And then you have some terrain. And that's um, if we fly over here, I've done some terrain. Here you can see it with this method uh, surrounding this uh, uh, city area. Okay, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that has helped you out. And um, I would love to see some of your terrain stuff. So if you do something, I would love to see it posted in, um, and um, I hope you'll learn something, uh, and if uh, you do something with this, I would love to see it. You can join our Discord, which is in the description, and uh, yes, uh, show us some of your screenshots of what you have done. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, bye bye.